32 men from 3 Commando Brigade did not make it back from Afghanistan alive. Many more returned with life-changing injuries. This parade and memorial service was dedicated in part to them. Each loss affected us all deeply and we will never forget those who paid the ultimate price. But as the Marines and attached units mourned their dead, elsewhere the families of two more British soldiers were grieving. Lieutenant Colonel Robert Thornillo was the commanding officer of the 1st Battalion Welsh Guards. He and his driver, Trooper Joshua Hammond from the 2nd Royal Tank Regiment, were blown up by a massive Taliban bomb. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Thornillo was uh, someone I've met, someone I've worked with, uh, someone who I admire uh, and someone who will be missed uh, by all his colleagues um, in the armed forces. I want to pass on my condolences to his uh, family, his wife Sally and, and two daughters and also to the family of uh, Trooper, Trooper Hammond, who was a very brave young man. Prince Charles, as Colonel-in-Chief of the Welsh Guards, also knew Rupert Thornalo well. Having been to visit the Welsh Guards at Aldershot before they left to go out to Afghanistan, and met a whole lot of the families, and of course, uh, uh, Colonel and Rupert's uh, wife, I, I, I can tell you my heart is, uh, is very much with them. Colonel Thornillo knew the dangers of fighting the Taliban. He'd already lost some of his own troops in Afghanistan. Every death is a tragedy and um, we feel very deeply um, the loss of our, of, our, of our friends and our soldiers who are here with us. But I am sure that the mission here is the right thing to be doing in terms of providing for the security of the people back at home. The dead soldiers were travelling in a Viking armoured troop carrier like these. They've become the workhorses of troop transport in Afghanistan, but they're easy targets for Taliban bombers. And the death of such a senior officer has refocused the debate about the quality of the equipment available to commanders in Helmand. No vehicle is going to be proof against the sort of improvised explosive devices that the Taliban are now deploying. And therefore what I would say is we shouldn't be asking the question about wheeled or track transport. We should be asking the question about helicopters. We need many more times the number of helicopters that we have in theatre. We mustn't continue to depend upon the United States forces to carry our troops into action. And the government has got to face the fact that money needs to be spent and spent quickly on a proper and effective helicopter fleet. The Vikings' days in Afghanistan are numbered. Next year they'll be pulled out for good. But it's already too late for the CEO of the Welsh Guards and his driver. The sad truth is, they're unlikely to be the last deaths in a Viking. David Bowden, Sky News.